music video of the year. Now, we don't focus a lot on music videos yeah. on Audio Face because it's mostly an audio-based podcast, but we do like watching music videos. Yep. And while, like, a couple of artists have definitely raised the bar for music videos, and now a lot of music videos are iterative off of yes. those, there are some artists who continue to stand out. And I think there are three this year that we really wanted to focus on. Um, Compensating by Amine featuring Young Thug. Yeah. All of Amine's limbo um, yeah. videos were really great, very mm -hmm. vivid. Nice. Amine videos have always been very much subversive. Man, they're fucking around with the idea of a rap video. Yeah, exactly. And um, this was no being different. Being on the nose. My favorite being compensating, it's like at the tennis court, they're like e yelling about giving black people rights. Exactly. It's just so, hilarious. Um, the lyrics are like, and the metaphors within them are visually like mm -hmm. illustrated. It's really nice. Um, speaking of visually illustrated metaphors. <laughs> we have, have WAP. WAP. Um, wet ass P word by Cardi B featuring Megan Thee Stallion. And uh, again, one of my favorite bits of trivia about WAP was how Cardi B was going to premiere it with YouTube. And YouTube, YouTube was said, like, no, please, God, no, 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 no not no, allowed. No, no, YouTube was like, yeah, sure. But they saw the first version of WAP and they were like, we're going to need the censored one because <laughs> we're going to need the censored one because. Um, but yeah, it, it was just like uh, Willy Wonka. It was like a porno in the Willy Wonka house. It's like <laughs> fat chocolate factory. <laughs> Uh, then there is Yo Perro Sola um, by Bad Bunny. It was very sort of... It a trick, like a mind fuckery of, of a, a music video. Yeah, uh, let's talk about subversion. You would think a lot of the um, like Bad Bunny sort of video would be like, he's rapping, there's a bunch of girls all around him, but he is the girl. He is... Uh, ch jokes on you, he's yeah. the girl. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he is, I guess, like dressing in drag and in mm. all of these sort of like settings and scenarios. He's being and, Latin Cardi B. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> actually like a very sort of funny and interesting sort of thing, especially because of like the um, macho nature of Latin exactly. men and how they behave. Like, that must have just been like a shock to the system we there. Like, whoa, we did not expect that. And I definitely did not expect that when I watched yeah. that video too. L a lot of angry Latin men talking about how they supported Trump somehow finding themselves nursing a semi watching that video. Anyways, uh, music video of the year, we are going to have to give it to one of them. I want to give it to Bad Bunny, actually. Really? Yeah, actually. Because it is something that... The other two videos are amazing. The theme of Bad Bunny is it's so out of left field. That is something you totally don't expect. It is something that... I think is actually underrated a little bit in kind of mainstream stuff, and it like surprised me, and it made me intrigued into a video. I saw it a, a few months ago, and it had the same feeling. That's fair. I think that I, you see, WAP was just like a it's, game changer. It's hilarious. It, WAP was a game changer. It's hilarious. Like e even Body has kind of become like the new body, WAP right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Body, body's just like WAP too. Yeah, <laughs> but, but WAP is the original like. There's some whores in this house. Yeah, yes. There's some whores in this well, house. I mean, didn't, actually, I think wasn't there wasn't there a Little Wayne track before that that had whores in this house. I think. I mean, no, no, no. There, there, there's yeah, many. With the there have been yeah. many raunchy rap music videos, but. One that highlights and like puts very much in forward like women and like yeah. their sexuality and feeling empowered in that sexuality, be like, especially in a genre that's so like blatantly misogynistic about like men's sexuality and their preferences. Look at the fucking Tory Lanez shit with with Meg Thee Stallion, but like basically the, the the key thing with both of our picks is basically like fuck <laughs> misogyny, fuck misogyny, exactly, <laughs> yeah. But um. You, you want to double up on here? You, you can double up. 100% double, double, double up. So we're going to tie this with um, WAP, WAP and Yo Perero Sola by Bad Bunny. Yep. 